So recently my mouse start double clicking for no good reason. Right here on this screen shows me uh, clicking the mouse at a constant speed and out of nowhere, um, it will come up pretty soon, it will start right there, double clicks. At, and then shortly after I double click again for no reason. This is a mechanical issue and in this video I'm going to show how I fix my double clicking issue on my mouse. So first we need to remove the cover and the screws are most likely on the bottom. Some screws are obvious. The cover won't come off. There's still something holding on to it. A lot of times some of these mouses might have screws underneath these pads. What you would do is you would take a knife and peel back these pads to reveal the screws underneath it. Or before you even do anything, somebody might have already um, show where all the screws are located at. So I just type in my mouse model number, space screws, search for it, and guess what? There it is. So I already explained it a little bit where all the screw locations are at. So for mine, there are no more screws. There we go. So I have the top open. So next, after the top is open, I have to remove this cable that connects to the top. Let me see if I can, okay, there we go. There's this black bar right there. And all I need to do is just pop it upwards on both sides. And after that's popped up, now you can remove the cable. Next, there are three wire connections. This one is just for lights. Um, you can just simply lift it up. And then you can then pull this connection out. The next one is for the side buttons right here. So if you have having issues with the side buttons, you can repair that. You just pull that connection out and then slide the circuit board out. There we go. Three buttons for that one. So in order to get to the circuit board, there are three screws. Remove one, two, and three screws. As you can tell, this board is still uh, connected to the bottom, it won't budge, is because this uh, connection right here is holding the board down. In order to slide the board out, you have to put something to leverage and pop the board out, the circuit board out, which I'm just going to put gentle force right there. And now the circuit board is loose. With the circuit board loose, now we can focus on the buttons. So after we have this opened up, um, there's a couple ways to repair the switch. Um, either you can buy a brand new switch and desolder needs for three pins at the bottom and replace them. Um, in order to look up these parts you can always just type in the part number and as you can see in Amazon they're selling six for five dollars or um, for me I'm going to do it the uh, uh, slightly quicker and uh, easy way as you can see, these 
switches has a little latch right there and what it is is that this top and bottom part is a cover this is a cover for the whole switch you can actually pop this switch open gently All right, did you, hear that? did you hear that click? So I got one side off. Now let's do the other side. I'm gonna take this wheel off so it's not in the way. Let's pull that out real quick. Now I can put some weight on here without bending anything. So slide the knife in, make a gentle twist. All right, now the whole thing popped out. Now let's focus on this switch real quick. So this switch right here, if you look at it, you can see how when it's pressed, the contact goes down on that smaller surface right there. The, and it's just hooked on at this end point right here. So what you do, in order to take this part and try to repair it is to use a needle nose of some sort and then you pull this out. The reason why this switch doesn't work is because over time the connections right there and right there deteriorates over time let's see if I can zoom in even closer so as I showed in the photos that over time these connections where the contacts are located at, located at just wears over time so what you can do is you can take either 600 grit sandpaper or 800 grit sandpaper. It doesn't matter, just high number fine sandpaper. And all you do is you just want to gently sand the contact. So it doesn't take too much sanding just a little bit is all you need and you can see the before and after picture up close and now it's also a good opportunity to just try to sand this tip right here oh yeah that looks a lot shinier Okay, now we can just go ahead and try to put this back together. hands keep on blocking the view it's kind of hard to do this while I'm getting myself recorded and there we go back in place now we need to put the button back on um, because we don't want this white piece of drop out so let's flip it around and then we'll flip this around and we'll slide it all in place oops almost got it wrong Alright, 
let's put this all back together again. Oh, first let's put the wheel back on. Clean it up if you have that opportunity. Now this last piece is just a little tricky. You have to make sure that black um, bar right there is. So let's lift up a little bit. Make sure this is slide all the way down. Now we can then push it in flat. Alright, okay, now we can cover this up, make sure this goes down first. Locked in. That's flush, now the back, now we can lock that in. Try it out. So, right now, after we fix the mouse, I am double clicking it a little bit faster than my first one, but uh, I just kept on clicking it. Um, you'll see at the end 200 clicks and no issue at all. So, problem fix. Pretty simple. Now, if uh, cleaning, sanding it doesn't fix it, of course, your last resort is to replace the button, um, or you could swap the buttons. If you um, you could swap the left button with the right one, or if you, there's extra side buttons that you don't use, you can swap them. That requires you to desolder and solder them again. Uh, so that's pretty much all I have. Um, thanks for watching my video, and um, good luck fixing your mouse.